Hi everyone. I'm going to be making some sourdough waffles in the morning and I wanted to walk you through the process of preparing the batter and, and how to get the uh, sourdough incorporated. So tonight I'll be taking you through that first process and then the batter will sit overnight and then we'll finish it off in the morning. But I want to talk about sourdough a little bit. I, as you might know from my other videos, I obtained my sourdough starter from King Arthur Flour. And they have uh, some really nice recipes there and one of them is how to use your discard from your sourdough. So every time you feed your sourdough, you'll have to remove some of your sourdough starter and you either discard that or use it in some recipes that will uh, accommodate the discard. So this is uh, one of the great recipes. So this recipe will make either the sourdough pancakes or the sourdough waffles. The first time I tried it, we did the pancakes. They were pretty good. But the second time we did it, we did the waffles and we have never gone back and done the pancakes because the waffles are so great. So let me get started and I'll show you how to do that. I'll start by going over the ingredients. In the larger bowl, I have one cup of the sourdough discard. I have two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, and 16 ounces of buttermilk. I'll start by just adding the sugar into the flour and mix that up a little to get those ingredients partially combined. Then add the flour sugar combination into the sourdough. This recipe makes about eight waffles and of course that depends on the size of your waffle iron but when I cook these you'll see the size that I'm using. The buttermilk and then just combine. I uh, reviewed some of the video uh, from the start of this and I, <laughs> I noticed that I had on my uh, cowboy cooking apron. I got this from uh, Kent Rollins. Kent Rollins has a fantastic YouTube channel with mostly cast iron cooking. <clears throat> but I'll put a link in the comments below just in case if you want to check out this uh, apron. And uh, while you're there, go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. It is one of my favorites. Well, the ingredients are completely combined now. And what I'll do is I'll cover this and I'll just let it sit on the countertop overnight and I'll be back with you in the morning and we'll make the waffles. Well here we are the next morning and our uh, sourdough sponge has really increased overnight. It's just about at the top of the bowl here. So we're going to add our ingredients. I have two eggs lightly beaten one teaspoon baking soda and three quarters teaspoon salt and a quarter cup of oil. I'm using olive oil this morning. So to get started, I'm just going to uh, take the sponge and pull it away from the sides just a little bit. Sprinkle in our dry ingredients. egg and the oil and as you can imagine this is going to be quite a loose batter so I'll just blend all of this together so now that uh, the ingredients are thoroughly blended together 
I'm going to uh, move over to the stove top where I have my waffle iron set up. The green light is on indicating that the waffle iron is hot. So let's get one cooking. I use a ladle that helps me to measure the amount of batter going in. For this particular ladle, I use about one and a half. It's okay if you put too much in, it'll just come over the sides. And uh, <clears throat> I have done that. <laughs> It just creates a little bit of a uh, cleanup situation. So let's close the lid. And now uh, we'll wait about three to four minutes until the steam stops. And then it should be ready. You can see the steam really coming off of the uh, waffle iron right now. And the aroma, it's really great. It, you can smell that sourdough. It's been about three minutes and the steam has stopped, so let me check this waffle here. And yes, it's perfect. All the way around, golden brown. Take that off. Boy, that looks good. One uh, tip I will give you about this particular waffle iron here. It has this gray surface. I'm assuming it's some sort of Teflon or nonstick. But I don't use any uh, oil. No, uh, you would think that I would at least use some spray on uh, oil, but I don't have to do anything. And I like that because uh, the oil sometimes can uh, mask the taste of the sourdough. I'll place a link at the end of this video on how to feed your sourdough. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And click that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you'll get notifications of my next videos. And until next time, thanks for watching.